beat down at Suzaburinovsky prison sends three officers to hospital Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center. Federal lawsuit filed Monday by nine black and Latino men who are, or recently were, incarcerated at Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center accuses prison officials of orchestrating weeks of unprovoked, retaliatory violence against prisoners as a brutal reminder about who was in charge of the maximum security institution. Guards used extreme, malicious, and cruel methods of force designed not to restore order, but to inflict pain, fear, and trauma, according to the suit. Prisoners of color were subjected to racist comments and slurs as the officers assaulted them, and some officers displayed white supremacist logos on their helmets, the lawsuit said. Machete attack, a woman stabbed, 19 times. Here's what 16 inmates accused in Suzaburinovsky prison attack are in for. Keeping it real. Former Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center officer arraigned an inmate relationship correctional officer was arraigned Wednesday. She loved them all to herself accused of preying upon an inmate with mental health issues. Charlotte Farrow worked as a correctional officer at the most secure prison in the state before resigning last year, stood before a judge in Clinton District Court charged with having sexual relations with a prisoner. Lawsuit, filed by advocacy group Prisoners Legal Services, PLS, of Massachusetts, accuses state correction officials of violently retaliating against prisoners at the Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center in Shirley after an assault on a correction officer, in January 2020. The lawsuit alleges that Suza officials attacked and beat more than 100 prisoners after the assault. It claims officers especially targeted prisoners of color in the weeks following the assault in what the suit calls a retaliatory force campaign. Unconstitutional brutality included beating and kicking prisoners, gouging eyes, grabbing testicles, smashing faces into the ground, or wall, deploying taser guns, pepper ball guns, and other chemical agents, ordering K9S to menace and bite prisoners and excessively tightening handcuffs and forcing prisoners' arms into unnatural and painful positions, among other positional torture tactics, the suit reads. Sixteen inmates are facing charges in connection with the January attack that injured four corrections officers inside, Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center. Surveillance cameras inside the maximum security prison recorded the January 4th the attack which sources said involved members of a gang known as the Latin Kings. Five investigates reported that one officer was jumped by members of the gang and other officers who tried to help were also attacked. Sixteen inmates faced two counts of assault and battery causing bodily injury and four counts of assault and battery on a corrections officer. Several of the inmates face various additional charges including aggravated kidnapping and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, either a shot foot or, in one case, a wooden cane. One of the two inmates accused of participating in an attack that scarred a prison guard at the Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center in 2019 was sentenced to an extra one and one half years in prison Wednesday. Sean Harlow, who is serving a six to seven year sentence for robbing a Clinton Cumberland Farms at Knife Point, admitted to the assault in Worcester Superior Curb. Multiple inmates at a Massachusetts prison were evacuated from their cells Tuesday after a prisoner assaulted a correction officer and then started a fire, officials said. A female officer at Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center in Lancaster was assaulted around noon with an unknown liquid by an inmate through a food slot on his cell door, authorities said. She was escorting medical staff while they were dispensing medications to prisoners when the incident took place. Inmate grabbed the officer, who was able to pull free, then started to light items on fire in his cell, an emergency response was initiated, and the Lancaster Fire Department responded according to a statement from Jason Dobson, a spokesman for the Massachusetts Department of Correction. Staff successfully evacuated the inmate from his cell and extinguished the fire. Inmate was stabbed by another inmate Tuesday at Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center, in the latest violent incident at the Lancaster Maximum Security Prison. Inmate was stabbed by another inmate Tuesday at Suzaburinovsky Correctional Center, in the latest violent incident at the Lancaster Maximum Security Prison, 